It says you are live, so I guess I'm live. Hello, got my coffee, sitting in my truck as usual where I do my best thinking. I want to mention the four unwords that I've started to kind of use a lot to describe me as a real estate investor. Um, those four unwords are unsophisticated, untraditional, unconventional, and unorthodox, <laughs> uh, which means translates to, I'm not very fancy. I'm not very smart. And yet I'm playing the real estate game. I've got 12 rentals. I'm a buy and hold guy. I like real estate, found out that I like it and uh, found out that being a landlord isn't going to be the death of me. Thank goodness. Um, had I had a different opinion, if I had realized that real estate was going to kill me or end my marriage or give me an ulcer, then I would have bowed out. I would have said to myself, hey, self, this real estate investing is for the birds. It ain't for me. Adios. No, thank you. You know, I would have had that kind of visceral um, reaction. So trying something that might not work out, that's okay. Is real estate something you can try and then quickly wash your hands of? I think so. Um, all right. So having said that, um, I want to talk about my title, which was, I think, something like, I have one skill, I can screw in a light bulb. That's right. I'm not handy manny. Um, I'm woefully unskilled. Wish I weren't. I hate guys. Tongue in cheek. I hate people that are handy, that know how to use a hammer, that know how to use a saw, that can look at a situation and figure out how to repair it. Gosh, I wish I had those skills. I do not. Got a few skills. Um, I can screw in a light bulb. I like doing yard work. <laughs> Every now and then, I accomplish some task at one of my rental properties, and I almost tear up because I actually did it, and I didn't make it worse. But... 99.9% .9 of the time, I leave work to somebody else. I self-manage. And I don't use a management company. But I do, because I'm not handy, I do retain a list about seven pages long of people that I've used of handymen, roofers, junk hauling guys, plumbers, honeydew guys. I do maintain a long list of those kinds of folks because when you own real estate property, things go wrong, things break. Your tenants call you, especially if you don't have a management company. So I'm not against management companies. I just don't have a need for one. Why my, my penny-pinching, budget-minded side says, why would I need a management company to collect rent for me? My tenants can pay me a thousand different ways. They can pay me rent. When they don't pay on time, I can call my tenants. I can text them and say, hey, 
friendly rent reminder, rent's due. When can you, you know, make payment? I don't need a management company doing that for me. I don't need a management company calling a guy to unclog a sink or to troubleshoot an AC unit that's not cooling. I can call folks. And unlike a management company, um, I'm going to call maybe five or six folks and listen to what they say and um, maybe hire the cheapest guy to do the repair for my tenant. If they turn out to, to be a good contact, I hold on to their name and number. I write it down on a piece of paper. So I've got, I've got guys in San Antonio, people here in North Texas, East Texas, Central Texas, guys that I've used once, guys that I've used more than once. And that's just a list on a piece of paper, on about seven pages of paper. Do all those guys stay in business? Of course not. Do you call some of those numbers again years later and it's, it's not a good number? Of course. Could you have somebody, could you have somebody's phone number where you've written next to it decent or good or reliable or cheap and you hire them again and this time around you're not impressed? Of course. But I don't need a management company to do any of that for me. I don't care if my tenant calls me at 3 a.m. or sends me a, te a text. It says, hi, James, this is so-and-so. My roof's leaking. Okay, thank you. I text him back. I'll get on it. I'll keep you posted. I'll follow up. I don't need a management company to do that for me. I don't need a management company to make those kinds of calls. Hey, James, you know, uh, make, it, make a decision. Management company, oh, they just sent me a bill for $4,000. They had to replace the AC unit at one of my properties. What? I, you know, I would like to make that call. Maybe that AC unit could, could last another two summers. Maybe you just, maybe you just spent my money and sent me, you know, you just paid for uh, the management company paid for a repair. Now they're asking me to reimburse them or they're sending me the bill when I would have said, Hey, I had no intentions of replacing that AC unit. I've got a used one. I've got a guy that can stick a used unit in there. I'd like to have the opportunity to call five or six AC guys and say, hey, this unit's on its last leg. Can you breathe new life into it? Yes or no. Or, hey, of course I can replace it, but what's do I have a plan B or plan C or plan D that can get me through the summer, sit, buy me some time, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know of very many management companies that will do that. They just like to collect your rent, send you a bill when they've had to fix something, and you pay them their management fee. Where, where's the value add in that? Doesn't make sense to me. Again, not against them. Just for me, the untraditional, unorthodox, unsophisticated, unconventional investor. I don't use them. But I do maintain that list. Guys that I've used once or twice or three times. Am I constantly seeking new guys? Yeah. When I'm at Home Depot or Lowe's, if I see a truck that says handyman on it or plumbing or whatever, I write it down. I write down that number. That's somebody I may need to call in the future when I need to discuss a potential repair with somebody. Um, so where do I find these guys? Like I said, I, Home Depot, Lowe's, you see guys walk in and out of there all the time. You see their trucks, you get their number. Um, Craigslist, it's been around forever. Still a great resource to find folks that can help you with various things, make readies, whatever. Yelp, sure. 
Sure. Um, going on Facebook and doing some creative searches to find guys that do various things, painters, sheetrock guys, whatever. They're there. Seek them out. Um, is everybody reliable? I think you know the answer to that. I wish the answer was yes. No, not everybody's reliable. Are people going to not keep their word? Right. Are you going to hire clowns from time to time? Like I do unknowingly? Per perhaps. One of my goals for 2023 is to hire less clowns. <laughs> I'm going to hire less clowns. I'm going to be more selective. I'm not always going to hire the cheapest guy because that cheapest guy could be a clown and could screw something up, do a horrible job repairing something, not show up, cheat me out of money, whatever. So um, you just got to develop that skill of being able to text people. Hi, I've, I've got an AC unit that won't cool. Uh, what do you charge to get out of your truck? Um, it's not a hard skill to develop, especially if I've got it. Um, and so the takeaway is if you just have very limited skills like me, you're barely able to, to screw in a light bulb. You too can still get by and be a real estate investor and self-manage and maintain a list. Um, if you happen to have skills, my God, that's a blessing. Count your blessings. That's awesome. I'm jealous of you. Um, if you can do some of your own maintenance, that is icing on the cake. You're going to save yourself money. You're going to have the enjoyment of fixing something, building rapport with your tenants, uh, being able to check in on your property from time to time. That's awesome. But if you don't have any real skills, you barely know which way, you know, how to hold a hammer, that's okay. You can still make it in this crazy real estate business. Um, so, uh, not handy at all. Um, that's about all. I hope you got something out of that. Until next time, peace.